I would like to introduce you to one of the most powerful and influential forces that we humans possess. And that's just simply our words. And words are everywhere, aren't they? I mean, we're inundated with words from the moment we get up to the moment we go to sleep in the evening. And you know, words carry power and they carry influence. They really do. As a matter of fact, think about it like this. When you're driving along in your car and you see the word, for example, stop, what do you do? Well, hopefully you stop. <laughs> or you see the word, do not enter. Well, I'm hoping that you don't go in. And why do we mind these signs? Why do we pay attention to words? Well, simply put, words carry power and they carry influence. You know, I was thinking about this uh, very topic uh, the other day as I was sitting at my son's football game. It was a junior high game. It was pretty charged because both teams were undefeated. And so it was high stakes. And I began to listen to the words that actually the coaches were yelling on either side of the field to their team. One coach began to use positive words. He would say things like, great play, and, you know, and keep your head up when they made a mistake. The other coach, on the other hand, began to use words that were fairly negative. Things like, get your head in the game, and what's wrong with you? Why didn't you make that play? And I will tell you that I noticed a very physical reaction to the words that were being said. The kids that actually received the positive words, they began to be a little more self-confident. The kids that received the negative words, they began to be less confident. And they were kind of actually frustrated and down on themselves. And you know, I don't think that that is a, um, a coincidence. And here's the reason why. Because words actually have power and they have influence. You know, the Bible says a little bit like this. It says, the tongue has the power of life, but it also has the power of death. In Proverbs 18.21, in the New International Version, it states that. And then, you know, here's the thing. As you look over your life, maybe you do a little bit of life reflection. I bet you can find times when people have given you life-giving words. Words that maybe built you up. It could have been a coach or a teacher or a parent. Now, you may not know exactly or remember what they said to you over all these years, but you can remember how it made you feel. It made you feel good. It actually made you feel happy. It kind of like turned on a light inside of you, and you felt proud of yourself. And I'm thankful if you had that experience. Words have power, and they have influence. And, you know, I will tell you, and I, as I look at my life, I can tell you I've, I've had words that give, have given me um, positivity that made me feel good, but I also received a lot of words that were negative. To clarify, my mother actually married a man after my father passed away that was more negative, and he used a lot of verbal abuse. And he began to speak words into my life that were like this. He would say things to me, and he would call me words like, stupid. He would call me words like dumb. He would say that I was ignorant, that I actually couldn't do anything right. And honestly, as I began to see myself in this light, I began to see myself as stupid and dumb and ignorant and that I couldn't do anything right. And it truly affected my self-esteem. I also can tell you that I had two other brothers that had received this type of verbal abuse, this, these negative life-stealing words. And I will tell you that eventually... Um, they took their own lives at a young age. And so, you know, maybe now that I have your attention, I want to ask you a question. How do you speak to other people? Do you stop to consider the words that you're saying? Do you actually speak words that are positive? Do you think about the ramifications? Well, if your answer is no to those questions, you should consider making a positive change. And you should begin to be right now to do this in your life. You should become a lifetime encourager by speaking positive words in the lives of other people. And what happens when you begin to do that? What is the payoff? What do you get? What's in it for you? Well, you begin to be life-giving to, to other people's lives. You begin to boost their self-esteem. You promote a positive outlook. You can actually even save lives. Not only that, you're going to actually feel good. And so why do we need to do this? Because there is a real problem in our society. And what is the problem? Well, the problem is this. People are walking around, they're suffering silently with feelings of low self-esteem and negative self-image. As a matter of fact, according to Baduna and Perona, McGovern, 2019, those who have consistently experienced verbal abuse throughout their lives, they feel like they, are, they don't measure up and they're not as competent or as good as other people. Additionally, according to Hirschmiller et al., 2018, self-esteem has been shown to influence things such as well-being, 
It actually influences th things such as success in, in life and, and important domains, including health and work and social relationships. So here's the point. Having a low self-esteem is debilitating. It, it's a problem. And people all around us are suffering silently. Our positive words can help ease that suffering. Because if we don't, we just comp compound the problem. Because there's a continual problem in America, especially in our society, and that is we have a consumer mentality and we lack kindness and patience, especially when our um, expectations have not been met. You know, anyone who works in a customer service position will tell you that people can be impatient and verbally abusive and downright unkind. As a matter of fact, according to Espertel in Perrin in 2019, those who continue to experience this in their jobs, they, they actually receive and they start feeling anger and depression and stress. Why is that? Because words carry influence. They have power. And you know, I'm sure there have been times in, our, in your life, in my life, when we've been unkind to people because our expectations weren't met. Our drive through order after waiting for 10 minutes just wasn't right. And so it's tempting to be able to use words that are negative. But if we continue to do that, we compound the problem and we continue to cause more issues because here's the issue and here's the problem. Continual negativity can be devastating in the lives of people if we continue to speak negative words. You know, the old idiom or the familiar saying, the straw that broke the camel's back, you know, that's very true as it, come, as it relates to some people in verbal abuse. They can't take another negative comment. In fact, according to Soto Sands et al. 2019, suicide deaths have actually increased, listen to this, 60% over the last 45 years. And so there is a problem. And in the case of my brothers, it was a real problem. They were part of that statistic in life. And so what do we need to do? Well, we need to provide a solution. And you know what the solution is? The solution is simply you. You are the solution, and your positive words are a solution. You can choose to speak positive, encouraging words, wonderful things into the life of other people. And you know what happens when you begin to do that? There's a payoff for you personally. The payoff is this. You begin to feel pretty good about yourself. Listen to this fact. According to Paris 2019, it just simply says, being kind to someone has a fascinating effect on you. It activates your brain as reward centers. It makes you feel good, happy, and according to neuroimage, acting kindly sends a signal to your mind and your body that you must be doing okay if you can spare resources for someone else. It's a wonderful thing. The Bible even says a little more like this. It says that we should not be unwholesome in our talk, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. And so what can we begin to do? Well, we can begin to take a closer look and begin to use our words in a positive way. And when we begin to use our words in a positive way, we begin to erase the actual past things that have been spoken on other people's lives. We begin to do things such as this. We begin to erase the negativity. We begin to become a lifetime encourager. And we begin to boost self-esteem and promote a positive outlook. You can even save lives. Plus, you're going to do and make yourself feel a whole lot better. And so right now, it's time to act. You can begin right now to do things just in, through your words and to help actually solve the problem of negativity uh, in America and in our society. You can begin to speak positive words, life-giving words. Like You can say to people, great job, you're talented. Thank you for all, your, all you do. And why is that important? Because words are powerful. And so I would say right now, if you're not speaking positive words, Use your words now to begin to influence positivity. What you can do is be reminded that the tongue has the power of life and death in Proverbs 18, 21. And so I would encourage you to become a lifetime encourager. Choose right now to begin to speak life. Your words make the lives of others better. Your words make our world a more positive and better place. And your words have power. They carry influence. So choose them wisely.